the interior of a small room with a few chairs. A girl around 20 to 25 years old, dark long blonde hair, wearing a white t-shirt and a black skirt. On her legs. Probably medium translucent flesh colored tights and white patent heels on a medium platform. The position of the legs lowered under the chair prevails here. Feet partially lose contact with footwear. It happens a little more often on the left leg. There may once have been oceans on Venus. Venus. Our neighboring planet is currently a dry and parched wasteland, where life as we know it could not survive. But according to a new study, Earth's twin may have had the conditions to support liquid water on its surface in the ancient past. What's more, analyzers have shown that there may even have been oceans there. Venus is relatively close to Earth, but the conditions there are radically different. The neighboring planet today is a hot and dry world, slightly smaller than Earth. With only trace amounts of water vapor in a thick atmosphere consisting mainly of CO2. However, in the distant past, Earth's twin may have been much friendlier. It may have had liquid water on its surface. In a new study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, scientists suggest that even oceans may have been present. No one needs convincing that Venus is far from the blue planet. It is extremely dry, hot, and its thick atmosphere is mainly composed of carbon dioxide. The atmospheric pressure there is 92 times higher than the one we know from Earth. This makes the temperatures on Venus even higher than those we would encounter on Mercury, which is much closer to the Sun. Water on Venus exists in the form of water vapor, but in trace amounts. But the question is, has it always been like this? It is possible that we have never even encountered liquid water on Venus. However, the new models point to a completely different story. According to her, in the distant past, even at the beginning of the formation of our solar system, conditions on Venus could have been completely different. Solar radiation was then about 30% weaker, which may have contributed to lower temperatures on a neighboring planet. Going further, also the pressure on this planet could be much more bearable. Was there water there then? It is possible that this was indeed the case some 700 million years ago. Later, however, the galloping greenhouse effect led to its boiling away. In a way, this is a warning for us and our approach to our planet. The question of the potential presence of water on Venus, and its amount decided to look closely at researchers from the University of Chicago. In creating a computer model of Venus's atmospheric history, they assumed that not only had the planet's climate in the past been much more tolerable, but it also had an ocean. They then fed into it different sets of data reflecting the different levels of water in the oceans. And then analyzed it for three different subsequent processes of water evaporation and oxygen loss on the planet that may have been taking place there. In total, this issue was analyzed in various configurations as many as 94,080 times. 
while a scoring system was introduced to select those results that would be closest to the current state of the atmosphere on Venus. It turned out that only a few hundred of the obtained results gave results similar to the conditions currently prevailing on the second planet from the Sun. To reflect the processes that took place there, the maximum depth of the oceans could not be greater than 300 meters. While the time in which Venus could theoretically be habitable would have to end as much as 3 billion years ago. It follows that this planet was uninhabitable for as much as 70% of its existence, which is as much as four times the previous estimates in this respect. Plasma Cutting Machine which companies will this solution work for? Plasma cutting, which uses the potential of the so-called fourth state of matter, has a rich history. Undoubtedly, it can be an excellent choice, but a plasma cutting machine will not work in every enterprise. Read on to find out where to use this technology. The plasma cutting machine is based on the properties of plasma. This matter, which is sometimes referred to as the fourth state of matter, resembles gas in some respects. However, its characteristics are unique. Plasma contains ions and electrons, but is itself electrically neutral. On the one hand, it conducts electricity. But the resistance of the plasma decreases with increasing temperature. Therefore, the current flowing in the plasma at high intensity leads to the formation of a plasma electric arc. The temperature in the plasma arc core can reach up to 30,000 K, which makes it possible to melt the material in the cut gap. Then it is possible to blow it out, thanks to which the material is separated. Cutting plasma, as you can see, guarantees high power and efficiency. At the same time, however, it is associated with certain limitations. The properties of plasma for cutting translate into its significant limitation, which concerns the material that can be processed. Only electrically conductive materials can be cut. First of all, plasma for metal is used. Most often, black steel, stainless steel and aluminum are processed. In this context, the possibilities of plasma cutters are really huge. They enable cutting, among others. Sheets, pipes or sections, including those of greater thickness. They also work well with rusted or varnished material. However, plasma cutting will not be possible in the case of non-conductive materials, which is a significant limitation from the point of view of many plants. Plasma cutting is a well-known technology that has been developed since the middle of the last century. Of course, modern devices have much more to offer. With their help, you can also eliminate the most important disadvantages of cutting plasma, including a significant limitation in materials that can be processed. In addition, the appropriate equipment will allow for the automation of processes, including the use of extensive CNC controllers. Thanks to which defining the cut is extremely simple and is based on entering specific parameters. Intelligent systems using EG. A network of sensors will be able to monitor the progress of work and the status of the device itself on an ongoing basis. Plasma cutting machines are very popular. This is primarily due to the indisputable advantages of the technology itself. Precise cutting and the ability to make complex details, high quality of cut and low material losses. Fast machine operation and short material piercing time. Plasma cutting, of course, also has some disadvantages. The most important of them include the emission of UV radiation. Gas and noise accompanying the treatment, which translates into relatively low comfort of work. Of course, 
the harmful effects can be mitigated by providing workers in the vicinity of the machine with special protective measures. Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.